Tammy, this is my first football season in Boise, and I heard Broncos fans can get a little crazy, so I set out to do a little investigation. I began my quest at the Hawks Blue and Orange Day. First thing on my mind was, could someone get beat up around here for not being a Broncos fan? Just in case I blurred out this license plate. No. No, no, but I hear yes. it yeah. It's close, but no. Are there ever, you think, poser fans that just want to fit in, but they really don't care? Probably people that are younger than us. Probably the younger kids, just to fit in because it's such a big icon. It's just the bandwagon that everybody wants to join in because we're so awesome. Dude, I bought a sweatshirt just because I didn't want to get beat up. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to know was, does being a good Broncos fan, or at least appearing to be, mean more popularity? And if you're a company, more business? Some people told me it could. You got an orange blue dancing dude. You got a reader board over there that says, go Broncos. It's not just a ploy to get more business. Hey, if we get more business, that's good, but uh, we're just Bronco fans uh, through and through. Is that something people become or a matter of nature? I think I'm born genetically. I think I feel the blue blood going right through me. It's uh, really good. Uh, last question. So can you be a polygamous football fan? Like, can I like the Vandals and can I like the, the Broncos? No. No. no, no, it's got to it's be one or the other. At that point, I got nervous. Could someone get away with bleeding Bronco and Cougar Blue? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. Maybe, that's a possibility. That is a possibility. Sure, why not? If that's the case, go BSU and BYU for both having great season openers. Live in the studio, Adam Blitzky, KBY2 News, watching out for you.